You guys heard the story a little bit. It's self-driving Tahoe. Yeah. Uh, this is the autonomy, not autonomy button. So if you want to just twist it like the arrows there, uh, just twist the green button, and it'll start driving itself around the course here. So it's using GPS to know where it is relative to the map it has, and then it's using lasers and radar oh my gosh. to uh, look out, see the other vehicles, the obstacles around it, and uh, you know, drive safely. If for some reason it was to fail, is there any safety? Well, it kind of depends what you mean fail. You know, if the whole thing breaks, well, you know, the whole thing broke. But it is able to, you know, different sensors can fail. We've done tests. Fail safe mode. Fail safe. They'll, they'll, you know, basically it, it, there's enough redundancy that certain sensors can fail and it doesn't care. Yeah. You know, it'll, it'll note that, ignore the false data from them and continue. Um, it seems to know that there was another vehicle in our car. In fact, it is. Uh, so you, you can kind of see in the display that, that rectangle out front is it tracking that vehicle and then it's seeing these garbage cans and it's moving around them. They're not kind of they're not pre-programmed. It's actually detecting them and avoiding them. Why why is it so jerky? Why did it stop so suddenly? Well so it, it was built for this urban challenge race and in the race there's nobody on board. And so really the metric was drive safely and do it fast. Right? So the metrics were uh, and so it's all tuned to basically go as quickly as it can without people on board. And so it, it doesn't care if it's jerky. Uh, as we go towards consumer, you know, vehicles, then of course that's going to be important. We would never want it to do that. We like it always to be a very graceful start. Right. How far are you away from this being on a on a luxury vehicle, let's say, on a GM vehicle? So you know, parts of it are going to come out, you know, over the next decade. We yeah. think by about a decade, at least technologically, we'll be ready to go. Um, you know, we have to deal with traffic lights, we have to deal with pedestrians, but we think we're, we think there's problem, you know, that there's, there's challenges, but they're not insurmountable. Yeah, it's a decade you should be able to solve it. Yeah. That's what we believe, yeah. If we go to pause, that would be great.